Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to manually take differential backup of a database in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do that using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. So here is my server, and this is my SQL Server right here. Let me close this. And uh, Tech Brothers SQL and SQL Prod is my instance. So I'm going to take differential backup of sales orders database keep in mind that full backup needs to be there before you can do the differential backup so we're gonna go ahead and right click on sales orders go to task go to backups first thing that you uh, see the by default when you open using graphic user interface it's a full backup so first you need to see is um, uh, database names uh, sales orders and we can go ahead and click on differential right here and um, let's go through uh, some of the options right here uh, we're going to store our differential backup on a disk and here is the path of that disk you have an option to change this path you can remove this option and click on add and wherever you wanted to store your differential backup of this particular database in SQL Server so you can go ahead and provide that path I'm gonna go ahead and cancel um, I only have C drive this is just a demo server so um, you can go ahead and change the um, path up here if you would like to let's go some uh, media options right here the first option you get is append to an existing database this will not delete existing database backup set this will just append this database um, backup file to wherever the location that you have provided if you click on overwrite all existing databases it is going to replace the existing backup set if you click on check media name this is more of a um, tape drive options that where it checks the header and uh, if checks the media if it's ready if you're using first time the tape drive or any other media and you would like it to get ready you can use this option backup to a new media set and erase all existing backups this will reset every um, uh, this will reset your media uh, for new backups a reliability verify backup when finished if you wanted to verify this differential backup whether uh, this verification sometimes is very important in production server you want to make sure that the backup that you take is a good backup and it's restorable uh, so if you click on verify backup it's going to logically go ahead and check the uh, database backup whether it's uh, restorable so what it does back behind the scene when you click on verify backup when finished it check check some error and um, uh, go through some of the uh, detailed um, logical restoration of that particular database to see that if it's restorable so you have an option right here if you have a big um, database and you click on verify backup uh, when finished it's going to take some time and um, if you uh, click on check some error if there is an error it's going to abort but uh, however if you are okay with that particular error you have an option to click on continue on error and uh, it will ignore that particular error however that error will be in the log but um, it'll ignore that error and complete your backup so backup option right here this is the backup name I'm going to change it differential and if you wanted to uh, go ahead and put description why you take taking this differential backup and also you have an option that when it expires so you can go ahead and define in days or in a, if you have a particular date when you want this database uh, backup differential backup to be expired expired databases uh, backups are hard to restore and it's um, not usable uh, after certain dates so uh, up here if you wanted to compress your differential database this is going to use the def uh, default server setting which is SQL Server I'm using SQL Server 2014 whatever the SQL Server 2014 default compression is is going to use you have an option to not compress the database and compress the database up here you have an option compress the database and do not compress the database keep in mind if you compress the database you're saving just the hard disk but when you restore it's going to take the same time to restore if that database is not uh, compressed so we're gonna go ahead and once we you go through all these options and you set your options you can go back to your general and click OK 
and it will take the differential backup. As you can see, the backup database sales orders completed. Let's go and verify that. And we took at 636. So this is our backup right here, differential backup. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And we're going to go ahead and use the script. Only difference uh, between taking a full backup using T, T SQL and differential backup is that we have a with option right here in T SQL. If you uh, provide this option with differential, that make it to take the database backup. Uh, differential backup instead of full backup if you're taking the full backup you don't need to uh, um, provide differential and it'll consider it full backup and right here is skip no rewind and uh, no unload that is mostly for if you're using your media as a tape then you need to consider uh, these options and stats this is the status of your backup it will show you in 10% uh, of increment like 10% completed 20% completed 30% completed but if you wanted to change the status you wanted to know that every percent it completes you wanted to know you need to change this so we're gonna go ahead and use this script to take a differential backup as you can see right here is completed successfully so basically this is it this is how you use SQL Server Management Studio to take the backup using graphic user interface and um, you use transactional T SQL script to take the differential backup of a database in SQL Server basically this is pretty easy this is the uh, same as in SQL I'm using SQL Server 2014 is same in 2012 2008 and this also works in 2005 some of the options are not available in 2005 but basically uh, the, the these are backup database and database name and other options are the same in other versions of SQL Server I hope this helps.